the iPad for our music, and uh, I had previously prepared some slides that. Uh, okay. That, uh, I'd like to run through, and then and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, using the iPad. <coughs> All right, I'm going to head to. Uh, there's a there's an app that we started using a while back, uh, maybe what three four years ago, yeah. called Gigbook, and. Uh, uh, there are other ones out there, and I have recently discovered that they're not supporting, the, the people that wrote Gigbook are not supporting it anymore. You cannot get in touch with them or anything. Uh, so, because we're having problems with it, and uh, I wanted to talk to the, to the uh, programmers to see if there was something we could do about that. But uh, anyway, uh, we, we're still using them, and aside from kicking us out of the program every now and then while it still works pretty good. The, uh, I did approach four score number two on there about uh, how I could move all of my files from uh, Gigbook to four score and I sort of know how to do that and I may do that eventually if I find out that Gigbook just, just keeps crashing on us. But, uh, Gigbook is a PDF reader designed for musicians, and it allows you to do uh, to make binders. It allows you to make set lists. It allows you to to include uh, audio with your with your music if you if you choose to, and it, it's just a good organizer. It also allows you the the uh, uh, means to make notations on your on your uh, on your music if you need to. Uh, there are other PDF files or PDF readers. One is Kindle. Uh, I don't know what Windows has. I'm an Apple guy, but uh, iBooks and Apple also reads PDF files. But there are a lot of PDF readers out there. PDF is probably the most common file type in the world. So there's a lot of stuff that you can use with it. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these notes here because... Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Number three, Yeah. files are loaded for iTunes. I tried that. I hated it. And then when I discovered Dropbox, that's how I do it. Okay. So. Yeah, there, there are other ways you can do it. Any way that you can, anything you can hook your, your iPad up uh, to load files on it, that's all you need. You can probably do it out of a, a couple of other means too. I like iTunes. I use iTunes for uh, iPod, iPad, telephone, all that stuff. And. Uh, That's what I'm. That's what I know, and this just describes how to how to go to the app store and find the app for that. As this does, uh, I'm not going to go in detail what what you do with iTunes because uh, it changes. Yeah. Well, I, I want to talk more about uh, using Gigbo and. Uh, These are, are, are many of the functions that, that uh, you will use in, 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 uh, in the use of the Geekbook. And I'll not go over them right now. I'll do it a little bit later uh, in the organization as well. Okay, I'm going to open Geekbook, and uh, that's the app up there. I'm going to open that and show you what I have. My music includes, uh, let's see, I've got about 1,050 songs on here. <clears throat> and uh, in Gigbook, they're all loaded up on the left where it says GB and it's blue. 
every one of the songs is in there, and on the right is, is an alphanumeric, or alpha, yeah, alphanumeric search for it. If I want to go to, to N, I just hit the ends, and, <coughs> and, uh, and there are the ends. Uh, it's all in alphabetical order, and uh, uh, the way that we've been using it is, is we have uh, created binders. Now, uh, Gigbook allows you to do a lot of things with the music, but, I'm, but I've been just using the basic functions. Uh, if you look at the, that arrow on the left, uh, those are recently added. The instruments are the, uh, the uh, types of music that you can separate your songs in. Uh, the feather is, I'm uh, not sure, I can't remember what that is. Ooh. That was by the Bolter that And the bottom two are what I mainly use. They're, they're, this is the binder section. And, and it is a good place to, to for me, to organize my music. Uh, Dr. Cott has published books that uh, um, I created PDF files of, and, and uh, I made a binder for each one of those books. And uh, uh, for example, there in the middle bottom, there's Mecca Signal on number one. And those are, these are all the songs that I have in that. And, uh, they're in alphabetical order, and I just, you know, I just tap on the song, and it pops up. Um, I, I usually use my iPad in this format, so I'll turn it up like that, and. Um, you can zoom in if you want to, if you really have a problem with it. But the idea is you, you create good, clear PDF images so that, so that they appear clear on your uh, iPad. Uh, as I mentioned, one of the things that they allow you to do is to notate. If you, uh, you tap the screen and that, that header comes up on the top and you see something that looks like a pen and then a zigzag line, Tap that zigzag line and pick a color, and then write something. If you want to write something here, you know, you write. Uh, if you want to change a chord, you can write it with your finger, or you can write it with a. I have one. Here. What do you want? Pen? No, I have one. Stylus. Thanks. You can write it with one of these yeah. marker, or whatever you call it, right? And uh, quite often we'll run into music that, that we, we need to change and uh, uh, we need to maybe change a chord on there or we need to, to indicate that there's a, something important happening in the song. And you can do that here by clicking on the uh, W again and then going down to the bottom row and using the highlighters to highlight certain things like, uh, you know, if you want to well, just say we're going to highlight that, that chord there. And, and I, I use it typically uh, to uh, uh, I use it typically to uh, let me see if I can find another song. I have a hard time with uh, repeats. And I use it quite often to, to mark the repeats like that here at the bottom, this one here. That way I can. I know it's a repeat and it's back up here. But that helps me to, uh, to use it. But these are, these are binder songs, and they work really well for categories of music that, that you're going to use. And everybody. Uh, We'll, we'll have different types of music, 
and have, have the favorites. When I got started in this, uh, everything I had was bluegrass, and I don't like bluegrass, but everything I had was bluegrass. And uh, uh, I just sort of been added to that with Dr. Cox's music and with other music that I've, that I've come across. And uh, uh, I think I started out with 600 songs, and I'm up to over 1,000 now. So. Uh, you, can, you can load this thing up with anything you want to do. And to create it, I'm on a, I'm on a, uh, in the binder section here. And if we want to create a binder, all we do is we go up to that top plus up there, right there. And we want to create a binder from our existing score, which is the way I usually do it because all of my songs are in the existing score, which is the, the main database on the on the iPad. It's everything everything that's in in this G up here. All 1046 songs. But to create a binder, I just click on that, that plus and I write a binder, I can write a binder name, let's say here, where it's going to go. Test binder. Binder. And, uh, and that's it. So it'll, it'll come down, it'll, it'll show up down here in my list. Test binder. This is it right here. And it's second row up, second from the left, and it shows that there are no songs there. Okay, in order to add songs to the test binder, I just click on it. It opens up the binder and it says no scores. So I use the same plus sign to add music from the existing score. So, uh, or you can do it from Dropbox as indicated. Got, if you're loading it for the first time, you might want to go to Dropbox and do it. But you just click on one of these, and uh, you've got some choices here. All scores, recently added scores. If I dump 20 or 30 songs in there that I want to create a binder for, then it'll, they'll all show up in recently added. And I can do that now. I'll just click on the recently added, and I'll just select one, two, four, five, six of them, and say I'm done, okay. Now all six of those songs are in my test binder, and, and, and they're not copies. What they are is just electronic directs. In other words, whoops, that's poor. Oh, that's, that's not one. I want a song. But, uh, uh, these are just images of what's in the database. So you don't, even though it shows up in here and it shows up in, in, in the overall list, they're not two copies, there's only one copy. Joe? Yes. Where, where is that uh, recent added feature? Can you click on plus? Like, okay. Well, uh, all I get is from drop. Getting the binder. Oh, okay. Create binder. Well, yeah. yeah. Once you create the binder, then you then you go back and click on the plus again. Yeah, let me go back. You can add more to this to this as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna close this or I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm going back to the root of the binder. And I hit the plus again. Okay. Existing score is where I'm going to go. And that's where it shows recently. Oh. Okay. <coughs> yeah, that's where, I, where it says recently. Yeah. And, uh, well, that's nice to know. If, if you've got it, 
if you've got your music organized in genres or anything, any other place, you can go there and pick them out. That way, you don't. You, if, if you've got smaller groups, you don't, you're not always going back to the root where you've got a thousand files that were selected, having to page through that. Now, this is this is a this is a uh, pretty good way of organizing by subject and or by book. And, and I've got a whole lot of duplicates in in music titles in my list, so I have to. I have to differentiate songs, uh, and I usually do that by uh, if, if it's if it's a mecca song like uh, mecca karaoke karaoke Christmas, I'll I'll put the title in and I'll put MKC, and that will differenti differentiate it from uh, uh, any other duplicate files that I might have. <clears throat> and uh, let's see here. You can see here, Frosty the Snowman. I've got MKSB, and that and the reason is that all of these are Dr. Cotts uh, karaoke folders of uh, booklets, and and that's just the way I made them when I when I made the files. Now, when we when we we did the parade last week, and when you do particular appearances, you can you can create a set list with with uh, Gig Book, and it's at bottom item over there on the left, the bottom figure. Joe, I have a question first. Yeah. <clears throat> Once you've done all that work, can you transfer?